This better work. This does not work. I may lose it. It is 10.30 on a Friday night. As of right now, there are zero viewers. I don't. I haven't gone live enough to compare. Oh, yes, we got someone. It's working, baby. It's working. Let's go. You people do not understand. You people do not understand the amount of effort that went in to setting this up. I have never felt so old in my life. Got to give me credit. Getting an N64 game able to be streamed because it's not on like the typical. I, I had to jump through some hoops. And, oh. But I'm here now, baby. Let's go. Drunk driving shouldn't be illegal is the first comment I saw. That I would have to disagree. Uh, <laughs> Kid Cuddy, uh, what did I go with? Did I do uh, driving drunk, doing my thing, or I? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Kid Cuddy, baby, that's it. Who said that? Range Rove. If I went with, I was drinking earlier. Now I'm driving. Would you get that? It was one or the other. Yes, Zach got it. Oh man, I'm so I am so pumped. This clickbait sucks. Would you rather me be drinking and driving, Gene? How about that? How about people who want to see people drinking and driving suck? How about that? Did you really think I was drinking and driving and you hoped that I would be drinking and driving? Come on, man. Holy smokes. You people. Anyway, uh, not you people. Gene, that person. The rest of you guys seem like you got the joke. So cheers to a Friday night. Typically, I'll admit, I try not to drink by myself. Uh, and hey, I'm with you guys. So it's... Uh, it's not even by myself, so that works. But I had a beer handy uh, because if this didn't work, I'd absolutely lose it. And since it is working, I know I'm so I'm I'm all jacked up right now because I've been working at this for like whew, probably since like three o'clock. I stopped to eat dinner, but holy smokes! Anyway, I wanted to oh oh oh. So this is what I wanted to do because the last time I did a live. Somebody called me out and said, you know, it could be a little more exciting, which they're right. So uh, I, I figured out how to do this. You know, hopefully, maybe down the road, I, I need I need a little time to recoup and get a little more bandwidth in the situation here, uh, a little more bandwidth in my life to be able to attack another problem. But, you know, it would be cool to be able to play with other people. I don't know if I could do that. But uh, all right. So look, I think, and look, uh, so can you guys see that chat? How does that chat work? Oh, Paul, is it Paul 1 or Paul? Maybe maybe Paul was taken and uh, and you went with Paul 1. But yeah, drunk driving. We used to play that in college. Every, every lap you had to finish a beer um, or, you know, some variation of that. Um, but yeah, so, the, so hold on. The chat there. Can you guys see the chat? Like, is there a way for me to put like a background on the chat? See, I think I can move the chat. So, oh, you know what I can do? How do um? All right, you can see the chat. All right, cool. You guys can see the chat all right. It's not like hard to read or anything. All right, as long as you guys can see it. All right. You can see the John. All right, cool. Oh, there's my man, my John. That Ryan John. I always talk about John. Um, yeah, so, you know, gaming I know is a thing. I figure it's more, uh, I figure it's more, uh, um, you know, it's more geared toward Twitch, but YouTube, I, I love YouTube. YouTube's my thing. And again, this is just kind of something to, to have in the background. And, uh, you know, I'm hoping to go through some, uh, some good old classic N64 games. You guys let me know when you when you want me to get started. I'm gonna win this race. Um, you know, I, I I got actually I haven't played in a while, so maybe maybe I'll lose, but I'll wait till I get lapped at least once, and then uh, I'll go about and um... oh, see that's what I'm talking about. You can see the chat, but you can't read it on the screen. Um, I wonder if I move it up. Yeah, 
what if I do this? Is that easier to read, maybe? Um, I think that's easier to read. Now, wait, wait till I get... Oh, oh, the game paused. So if I click, I, once I get fully laughed, I'll go and I'll win. But I wanted to get on here because I want to tell you guys, I want to share with you guys that, uh, you know, I'll, I'll be honest, that let me, let me wait till I'm fully laughed and I'll go. And then I will tell you guys a little story. Let's rock. Woo! Uh, September, for your boy Driver Ed here, was probably my worst month for YouTube before my channel really blew up. And uh, basically, this is, you know, I was kind of, I was, I was like thinking, you know, you talk to yourself, you, you motivate yourself, you hype yourself up. And I was like, you know what? Like, this is what failure looks like. This is, uh, this is like, you know, not doing good. I, um, I had a plan, uh, for those of you guys who were on my last live stream. Oh, I missed a box. I, uh, was trying to, uh, really hunker down and start writing this book about Uber. And, uh, my plan was to share some, uh, ooh, oh, shoot, I'm losing it. Oh, uh-oh. My plan was to share some shorts and, you know, YouTube's been pushing the shorts and I was hoping that that would help the channel and it did not. So, uh, yeah, shared a bunch of shorts to start. None of them really uh, took off. And, you know, uh, I, I think the content in the shorts, you know, I think it's interesting, um, but it's also... Uh, you know, I, I don't think it's really geared towards the shorts format. The the quality of the video, because it's shot uh, widescreen, didn't really translate to the vertical. And, you know, the, the things that really catch on with shorts are like really shock value, attention grabbing sort of thing. So um, it just didn't work out. And uh, yeah, and then the, my, the rest of my channel suffered. I didn't have other content uh, on deck because I was... Focusing on the book and the shorts. And, uh, yeah, it just didn't go well. And, uh, you know, it got me thinking. I'm like, oh, sorry, Peach. Oh, shoot. Oh, these stupid bananas. Oh. Oh, shoot. Uh-oh. There we go. Boop. Just like that. I told you. Um, but it got me thinking. I'm like, dude. Like, it... it this is this is it. So like, so what? Basically, I don't know. I, I it's not a great point to the story. I, I just think I see a lot of people and I talk to a lot of people and they're so scared of trying something new or doing something different. And I think they're scared of being in the situation I'm in. Sorry, I'm getting a little out of screen here. Um, and I guess I just wanted to share where it's like, hey man, like I had a plan, I executed the plan, the plan sucked. Like, it's not just that it didn't work. It sucked. And, uh, you know, here I am. You can still move forward. I was talking to a buddy of mine. He was like, well, did you still have fun making the videos? And the answer was no, I didn't. Like, I was doing it because I thought it would be a good plan to help my channel as I worked on other projects. And uh, so it wasn't even fun. It, it, like, felt like work. And so it was like, it was a it was a lose-lose situation for me. Um, but, hey. So what? You move on. You take an L and you bounce back. And so I'm right here saying, just like in the Wolf of Wall Street, I try not to curse often. So when I do, it counts, you know? And I'll be honest. See, some, sometimes, sometimes given a situation, sometimes when there is a little too many drinks in me, I can, I can sound like a sailor. But when I'm choosing my words, uh, you know, you like to use curse words sparingly because that way when you use them, they count. And so, all that's to say, a chapter from The Wolf of Wall Street, uh, in my opinion, kind of an overrated movie. Um, actually, let me take that back. It's not overrated. I just hate the fact that that guy's celebrated. Like, uh, don't get me started on that. But uh, anyway, ooh, to take a chapter out of Wolf of Wall Street, despite the worst month of YouTube that I've had, oh... In the past two years. I ain't fucking leaving. I ain't fucking leaving. 
Oh man, I'm such a dork. Um, but yeah, so come October, I got some good content on deck and, uh, I'm real excited and, uh, I've been growing the podcast. Uh, shout out to everybody who's over on the cheese steaks with channel. Oh shoot. Um, up to 400 subscribers now. I'll probably, uh, I'll probably link that here. Actually, could somebody, could somebody find the cheat? No, I, I don't want to ask that of you guys. If, if before I finish this race, nobody gets it. Oh, thanks for the dollar, Mr. Fluffy. Oh, that's another thing I wanted to talk about. Um, but be if before the end of the race, nobody links my cheese steaks with channel, I will, uh, I'll bring it up and then, uh, pin it there. Um, whoa. All right. I might have to focus here a little bit. Do you guys like watching video games? So that's another thing. Talking about sounding old or feeling old. Oh, uh, you know, setting this whole thing up. That was, whew, holy. I'm like, the whole time I'm like finding empathy for like the older people in my life, you know? Like, you know, you know the people who like need help like that downloading apps on their cell phone. I'm like, holy smokes. I was freaking out. But in my defense, I did call my brother who's, um, you know, he like works with computer. Oh no. He works with computers for a living and he didn't know immediately, uh, what the issue was as to why I couldn't stream it. Oh boy. Come on, baby. Ah, come on, man. Never a doubt. Never a doubt. Never a doubt. Um, all right, let's see. BRB. Um, What's your name? What's your name? Uh, YouTube. Cheese steaks with Eddie. Alright, so. Oh, there's a link? My bad. Oh, where's the link? Oh, I need to sign into chat? What? How am I not already signed in? It's my chat. What? To interact with the chat, you can open this chat in a web browser. I guess I can't see the link. Oh, here we go. Gotcha. New pin chat. Gotcha. Got it. I appreciate you sharing the link, but it looks like I got to do it. Um, again, I'm, I'm probably sounding and, and looking like an old, old, a baby boomer right now, but I'm just a millennial. To my podcast channel. All right. Subscribe to the podcast channel here. Let's, uh, pin message. Cool. Did that work? Subscribe. Nice. All right. Cool. <laughs> You're gonna vomit now. <laughs> oh man. Um. Oh, I don't know. The the birds got uh. Where are we at? Um. All right. All right. I'm back, baby. Um. Hey. Cheers. The only acceptable drinking and driving with video games. Um, I don't know, dude. I think the birds... Doug Peterson, you know, I, I know he's... Uh, you know he wants to win. And then on top of that, it's it's, it's hard to be undefeated in that league, you know? I, I honestly think the Jags will at least give him a game. Um, but at the same time, I still like... I've watched the Jaguars, and they look good, but I still just can't get over the fact that they're the Jaguars. You know what I mean? But, um, oh, man. So, oh, the other thing. Thank you so much for the donation. Um, I know I mentioned in a previous uh, live stream that I started a Patreon, and part of the reason I started a Patreon is because people have been, you know, reaching out for ways to, uh, to donate. Um, and again, no, I'm, I'm a huge believer in like just the fact that you guys are willing to 
to check out the uh, check out the channel and watch. And you know, if you don't have the means to to support, like I, I don't. Basically, the the thought of a Patreon is just as foreign to this millennial as uh, the thought of people watching playing video games. Um, but I, I, you know, I understand how it makes it more entertaining, but it's just, it's just a different world I'm, I'm, I'm adjusting to. But anyway, um, on the Patreon, uh, I talk about how I, I gave a little exclusive, uh, peek on the next season of my cheesesteaks with podcast. The Patreon's really to support the podcast. I give a couple extra podcasts, um, uh, like, you know, just one-on-one podcasts or just podcasts with just myself. Oh! Um, man, so I apologize. This is, the first, this is the first time I'm like multitasking here. So sorry, I'm, I'm a little all over the place, but, uh, yeah, on, on the, uh, on the Patreon, I talked about how, um, new season with the podcast. I met this guy. Check this out. I'll, I'll give you guys a little excuse because you're here for my, um, you're here for my live stream, but, oh, oh man, here's a little spammers again. All right. Blue, you asked to be a moderator. I might take you up on that. Um, all right. Here we go. Hold on. All right. Your mom's a bot. That's kind of funny. All right. Who wants to be a moderator? Blue, you still here? Man, why do people act like that? The internet's a funny The internet's a funny place. All right. Blue ass first, so I'll go with blue. You're my boy blue. Go replace put user. I think add moderator, right? There we go. All right, blue. Oh, I didn't even ask. How's my uh, how's my mic sounding? I didn't even check it. Um, <sighs> I don't. Um, I am not. I'm. I'm a little overwhelmed right now. And I'll be honest, that was my first sip of beer. So the driving drunk thing was like I'm not even. I haven't even been drinking. This is just overwhelming for me. A lot going on. Um, but what I was saying was I'm I'm going off ninety five. Um, the other day I was actually going downtown to do a cheesesteak review and I see this guy standing there with a sign as he would later describe it. It's his feel bad for me. Give me money sign, a homeless guy. And underneath the donations, water wanted or accepted or whatever it said, it's, it said, follow me on Instagram at homeless bum 100. So naturally I'm like, okay, I have to look this guy up. And, uh, yeah, so this, it was a homeless guy with an Instagram and I was like, this would be a really interesting guy to have on the podcast. Uh, I've, I've always had so many questions and so many things I've wondered about homeless people. And, uh, so I was able to ask him a lot of that. I got to know him. His name's Evan. He's a really interesting guy. And, um, over the course of our conversation, uh, I asked him, I was like, dude, with, with winter coming up, something I always wondered about homeless people, ever since I understood like what the concept of homeless was when I was a little kid, I was like, if I was homeless and I didn't have anywhere to be, like, why wouldn't I just walk south? And uh, his answer was basically, you know, if he goes south, he doesn't know... He doesn't know any way. He wouldn't have an end goal to get money. Like he wouldn't know where to go. He wouldn't. The competition. He, he heard it might be like tougher down there. Basically, he doesn't have the means to do it, and he doesn't have the means to sustain himself. So when I asked him, like, what's he worried about for winter? Um, <laughs> it's it's crazy to think about. But he was like, you know, he's talking about getting these double insulated jackets, and you know, currently he doesn't have shoes. He's wearing sandals. So he uh, he needed. He needed uh, these really fancy shoes. I, I see he called there's some brand called Rockies or something like that. I, I'll just Google it. I'll never heard of it. But uh, I asked him his shoe size, and I know when it airs because I know at least somebody listening will ask. And uh, I'm like, dude, whether there's enough people on the Patreon or not, 
I can't have this man on my podcast and have him out there knowing that he doesn't have shoes and that, you know, I could do something about it. So, uh, that being said, these donations that are coming to my channel are, aren't just going towards, you know, getting a, a nicer graphics card or something like that. I think, uh, I know we're going to do, we're going to do some good with it. Um, okay. Let me get back to this game. Why are you playing this kitty game? Why would you ever disrespect the greatest game ever made like that? Holy smokes. This is, there's no better game on earth. Oh, I always got to click back. Double dash, dude, N64. Uh, somebody had asked earlier, do I play any other um, N64 games? I, the N64 is my favorite system. PS2's great. Um, but, dude, and there, there were other, a couple other games. I'm, like, trying to figure out the best way to, uh, to download these games. I used, there was, like, Royal ROM was one, and then, uh, I forget the other name. Do, do we have, um, other gamers in here? You, you gotta tell me, like, where to download these games, but, uh, Tony Hall Pro Skater almost did that, almost did, uh, I wanna find Crazy Taxi. I... I couldn't find that on any uh, of the uh, N64 ROMs. Is that what you call it when you download? Oh, I'm about to get caught. Woo! Missed me. Where are we at? Let's see. All right. Oh, no. Oh, that was such a rookie move. Please don't judge me. Favorite cheesesteak spot. Drive down. Where are you driving down from, cat? Oh, I can't do the speed runs. I'm like not. I mean, I could do a speed run on this. Uh, I don't know about like the best people in the world, but uh, with Super Mario, I'm just like I, I've never been great at that game. I've never been really great at video games other than Mario Kart. Um. Oh, that's right. It is on Dreamcast. Oh yeah, duh. Then I can find it. All right, you ready? Where are we at? Oh, they're screwed. I got a lightning, and they're not even at the ramp. Who is that? Mario? You're about to slip up. Boom. Unless he had a star. Oh, yep, I got him. No! How did that happen? Oh, man, they set him back so fast. Woo! Oh. Oh, shoot. Uh-oh. If I... Oh, no! Uh-oh. Oh boy, I better not lose. Oh gosh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. All right, where are you at, Cat? Albany. Oh, three and a half hours away. I'll, I'll feel, I'll feel, um, I'll feel bad if you make a drive for three and a half hours and it's not the best food you ever had. But if you're in the Philly area anyway, what? I would recommend, so far, I've eaten at 13 or 14 spots that I, like, graded for these, um, oh, Emu Paradise, is that, uh, okay, I'm gonna write that down. There's been, like, 12 or 13 spots that I've graded so far, and of those 12, the best cheesesteak I've had so far is Leo's in... Uh, it's not Sea Cane. It's in Sharon Hill. Leo's and Delco in Sharon Hill. Um, that was by far the best cheesesteak. Not by far. I shouldn't say by far. But it was the best cheesesteak. The best cheesesteak I had in Philadelphia City Limits. And if you're a meat lover. So, like, if you, like, this thing was just packed with meat. Like, you could honestly... Most of the time, a good cheesesteak, you can make two meals out of it, like have it for dinner and then have it for lunch the next day. Honestly, this meat, this, the way this thing was packed, I think you can make three meals out of it. Um, and that would be Ooey, uh, Louie Gooey's, not Ooey Gooey, because I think there is a place called Ooey Gooey, but this is Louie Gooey's. Um, yeah, Louie Gooey's. And man, it is like, you, you can't eat in there. It's this like little uh, deli kind of place. There's like picnic tables outside if it's a nice day. Uh, it's in the heart of South Philly. 
and uh oh it's so cool they have uh just the way it's set up um they have like you know all pictures of like local people and there was a guy if you if you know the hbo show band of brothers about world war ii uh there was a guy from south philadelphia bill grenier and he actually came to my school in seventh or eighth grade um and I'm such a history nerd. I was like geeking out and I was like the only person in my grade that like, I, I definitely cared the most. I don't know if nobody else cared. I'm sure other people listened, but uh, I was like, it was like Michael Jackson came to my school. Like this was like, this guy was so cool to me. Um, but anyway, he's from South Philadelphia and they had a, his picture up there along with another guy from Philadelphia who's also in that show, uh, Ed Heffron. Um, so I don't know, it was just cool, like, seeing, you know, them up there with the cheesesteak, with the guys who own the deli, um, I, you know, it's just like a cool local spot, and, uh, the guy who made the cheesesteak, I don't know if he owns the place or manages it, but he, like, saw me taking pictures, and, um, you know, sometimes people can get a little weird when you're videoing and stuff, and I always feel uncomfortable, because I'm always by myself, but... I'm I'm trying to just nut up and do it anyway for you guys, um, and for myself, you know, for 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 the content. I mean to say, and uh, don't even think about it, Toad. Oh, and uh, yeah, so I'm videoing and like I'm not really getting acknowledged at all by this guy or anything, and he's like moving stuff around. And finally, he's like, "You get this here." So he was moving like the deli meat so that I could get this picture of him on the cover of Philadelphia magazine holding his cheesesteak with his Eagle Super Bowl ring that he ordered. He was like, yeah, it came in the day they were coming to do his story. He was telling me all about the Super Bowl ring. So it's just like a real, like, you know, Philly neighborhood spot. And the thing about Philly is I would never say it's a warm city and I would never say that people are welcoming. And it's that kind of thing where like I walk into this place, I'm like, I don't know if I'm being obnoxious recording and nobody's like, you know, like, excited about it but they're also like going out of their way literally to make it good and then you know once they start talking and you know you talk about the birds the birds everybody gets excited so um anyway louis gooey's in south philly's the best so far in the city and the best i've had is uh leo's in sharon hill which is in delco all right what uh what should i do next Oh, I forgot about this. This is when we can chat. I'm I'm here for the chat more so, but I just get so competitive. I can't lose, especially when I'm being broadcasted to the world. Um, I, I, I can't have it on record that I lost to the computer in Mario Kart. What's up, Stone Studios? All right, Paul. You tried that joke a couple times. It didn't land. Just keep it moving. Ryan, appreciate that, John, man. Yeah, you're in the Northeast, right? Oh, um, I actually had a guest, the one um, cheesesteaks with a failed business owner. Her name was Mary Pat. Very interesting story. Um, I don't know if you guys have been listening to the podcast. Uh, I hope you make it over there eventually. But uh, she recommended Car Mines, I think it was called, in the Northeast. Um, I don't know if you heard. It's like a family-owned spot. They literally, uh, they literally close every year to go over to Italy to like get ingredients and and something. So, um, I, I think that's what it was called. I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm going to do it soon, so just keep an eye out for it. But you're in the Northeast, right, Ryan? Am I making that up? Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Um, Carmines, have you heard of that? I think that's the name. Favorite PS2 game? All right, here we go. What would be my favorite PS2 game? Um, you know, we played a lot of, in college, we played uh, Madden... I think it was 2005, the one where you can do, um, like, the rushing attack. That was so much fun. Um, so, 
Yeah, I, I think I think that would probably be my favorite PS2 game. Once I like got to the college age, I pretty much didn't play too many video games by myself. Even in high school, I like it was pretty much just like playing with other people. Um, and I think that's the biggest reason I like never got into Twitch or never got into gaming because, um, you know, I, I kind of like that like in person, you know, interaction. Um, but everything I hear, uh, a good friend of mine I play basketball with, he was telling me like he was doing a, a gamer meetup. Like he was meeting up with like gamer friends and like he's been playing games. And I was shocked he was playing Monopoly. And, like, he became, like, really good friends over, um, you know, playing Monopoly with these guys. And I know uh, another another good friend of mine, like, invited a bunch of – he lives out in Vegas, and he invited a bunch of, uh, you know, gamer friends out for the weekend. So, like, I, I understand you can, like, become good friends while playing gaming, but I guess I never made that connection and, like, committed to it. Um, plus, I just – I didn't have a system and, you know. My cheap ass didn't want to go and splurge if I didn't know I was going to. I was going to love it. Oh, Vinny. Yes. Star Fox, baby. I was going to say, that is another game where I'm I'm very confident in Mario Kart. Uh, but Star Fox, I was nice with it. Um, all right. Who should I be? Mm, FIFA. A FIFA. I really like playing FIFA for PS2. Yeah, I'm with you, Southeast. Like, N6, nothing beats N64. I don't think you, like, the younger generation will never understand the jump that was made from Sega to N64 and PS2. Like, it was just like, what we what we went from was just like, absolutely insane. Goldeneye, that's a solid one. But I, I used to be good at it, like when I would play with the my friends in my neighborhood. But then I played again in college, and I just got smoked. All right, we got one vote for Wario, one vote for DK. Oh, and we got twenty dollars from Tap Out Corner, and he says Bowser, and that's very fitting, being that Tap Out Corner is the best wrestling. Uh, I almost said station. I'm in my old man mood because I'm <laughs> I've just been feeling so old doing this. I said station like we're talking about a freaking radio. Tap out corner, the best wrestling channel on YouTube would definitely go with Bowser. Uh, yeah, I, I mean nobody's gonna beat that. Appreciate that, dude. You guys know from my last my last stream, uh, or you might remember Tap Out Corner. I'm buddies with the guy. I, I chat with him on the phone. This guy has a YouTube mind, and uh, one day you may just—I I, I don't want—I don't want to reveal any of his plans or, or ideas. But one day, even if you're not a wrestling fan, I have a feeling you may be coming across, uh, maybe coming across some of his videos. All right, I just did Star Cup. What else is there to do? Nemo. Oh, what do you guys think? Sly, Ratchet, and Clank. What are we talking about there? Is that, um... What is that? It sounds familiar, but it's not ringing a bell. It's not... It's not... <laughs> Warrior Stadium. I just did Warrior Stadium. Did you miss it? I'll do it again if, uh... If people don't have any, uh... What do you call that? Like, uh, not disagreements. Oh, they're separate games. I thought they were characters in games. I've never even heard of them. But for whatever reason, probably just the way those names sound, I was reminded of that game, uh, Crash Bandicoot. You remember that? That was a solid game. Oh, 1080? 1080 snowboarding? I know you guys love that. Um... Yeah, Slides the Raccoon, that's right. All right, I'll tell you what. I'll do Wario to start. And I'll let them I'll let them take the lead. I did this last time. We'll just set the, we'll just set this guy down. 
and uh, we'll uh, oh actually I don't know if I can do the cheat with uh, Bowser we'll have to find out there was that other game um, Crash Bandicoot and uh, there was another one that was really hard Oh, that Wave Runner game. Sorry, I was thinking 1080 in that Wave Runner game. You remember? Um, I I, th I think it might have been called Wave Runner. You remember that? And you were literally like going through like the docks, and that was insane. Thirty four Southeast Millennial Baby. Man, I'm I'm pumped this is working. This was like this was an all day event. I was very I was very uh Oh Sonic. I used to get up every day at six thirty. I go downstairs, I watch the rest of Sports Center until seven o'clock. Then I'd make my uh, Cheerios, either Cheerios or oatmeal, and watch Full House from seven to seven thirty. From seven thirty to eight, you have a good night too, Cat. What's RPI? Do I know RPI? Um. From 7 to 7.30, I would watch Full House. And then from 7.30 to 8, I would play Sega Genesis. Sometimes I'd play NBA. Uh, I forget what NBA game I had. But I would play Sega Genesis and usually uh, usually Sonic. And do you guys remember? Man, I'm having a flashback right now. So if you got so far, you couldn't save it unless you had a memory card. But like most people didn't have memory cards. That was like, you know, most people did not have memory cards. And so I remember the one time I left it on all day. Like I turned my TV off, but left the thing on and I just prayed that it would still be on when I got home. And it was, I was so pumped. Um, and then I ended up dying. I didn't even, it was on all day and I ended up dying. <laughs> wave race. That's what it's called. Not wave runner. All right. Where are we at? Um, yeah, I should probably go now. All right. Let's see if this works. Oh, I don't know. Yes, let's go. Hey, I think the Phillies are going to make the playoffs, right? They, uh, they, uh, you know, they were like not good. Then they were real hot. And then recently they haven't been so hot, right? But I think they're still in the last playoff spot, right? I'm always like a, uh, all right, we got to wait till they're right there. I'm always like a fan at arm's distance until the playoffs. And then if they're in the playoffs, I'll, uh, you know, I'll really hunker down. Uh, what do you think is the question? For days. <laughs> Kids these days will never know. That's how it's done, baby. Oh, I'm still in eighth? Holy smokes. Oh, yeah, I let them go pretty far. What's up, BM World? Let's go. This is going to make or break it right here. I actually, Oh, I blew it. I didn't hit the mushroom. Come on. That's rookie stuff right here. I actually might lose. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. I 
I need a lightning before he hits the ramp. Otherwise, I'm screwed. Ah! Maybe I can still place. Ah, I blew it. Ah, all right. Switch is like that little handheld thing, right? Somebody actually left, or no, that's a Nintendo DS. Somebody actually left that in my uh, in my Uber one time. I felt bad, but I didn't know who it was. I mean, I I had an idea i thought i knew but i didn't know like which ride it was like I, I deduced that it was that one ride with the one kid but i was like i don't know where they went i forgot what's up at heath is that how i how you say your name appreciate you watching all right guys well basically i just wanted to uh get on here and uh you know say that Things have not been going well with YouTube, but I've been working on the podcast, and I ain't going nowhere, baby. Um, I don't know if you guys, you know, want to keep hanging out, watching this. I know it's kind of late. This is a lot later than... I'm usually not even up this late. I was hoping to do this by, like, 7 o'clock, but like I said, I was having a bit of trouble doing this uh, doing this uh, Streamlab thing. But um, next time, I will announce... The next time I'll announce the live and uh, be a little better about it. But tomorrow, October starts and the takeover begins. I'm playing on, uh, so I downloaded Open Emu. Emu. Like emulator, I guess, but it's, I say emu, like the bird, open emu, to play the N64 games. But then I'm using Streamlabs to stream it. Does that make sense? Do do any of you guys like know how to game? Yeah, exactly, Ryan. That's uh. That's exactly what uh that's exactly what I had a problem with. I it, it just didn't work, you know? It wasn't uh I don't know. I guess the longer videos you get more of a vibe of like in the Uber and, you know, a podcast obviously a podcast, but trying to clip them it just uh didn't translate. But hey, you live and you learn, took a shot. Um, you know, I'm going to try to have a schedule, but what I've found, like when I've found my best success for YouTube, it's the schedule kind of hinders me more than it helps me. Um, and, you know, just sometimes I feel like the the schedule kind of kills an older video. I don't know. Sometimes I, I'm in my head. I don't know. Um, but, I, but I also don't know. I was just talking with, uh, you know, my buddy that I told you that also has a YouTube. And, you know, sometimes tell me what you guys think. For you guys that are here, I don't know if you ever even thought about it, but like when I upload a video that is black and white and is obviously taking place at night, if does it seem more fitting to watch it at night? You know, I almost feel like I should upload the nighttime videos when it's like dark out, you know, because then you get like the the kind of feel, you know? And then like other times I'm like, man, this, I know this is a good video, but people are watching it at like, 10 in the morning, a black and white video at 10 in the morning is at nighttime. I'm like, this, I don't know. Kind of like, I don't know. And I know people are all over the world in different time zones, but the majority of my viewers are here in the United States, you know? Um, what do you stream on, BM World? Yeah, so you're already in October. That's what I'm talking about. The Water Ice Girl, I got her back on. I don't know. Uh, there'll be a video coming up soon. She was on my uh, 
she was on my cheesesteak channel. If you check out the pinned comment, um, uh, you can find her podcast on there. It's called, uh, I think it's called Cheesesteaks with a New Mexican or Cheesesteaks with a Gamer Girl. She's actually into gaming. She's, uh, she's, I talked with her about doing stuff like this and she, uh, her name's Shorty Bang Bang, uh, with an I. Uh, I think underscore, but, but again, like all this information, if you find her clips, uh, you'll, you'll see it. Um, you'll see. All right, Vinny. All right, Marie. Appreciate it, blue. Yeah. See, I, I kind of feel like yeah, afternoon or night. Yeah, so maybe I'll, I'll mix that up. Um, but anyway, appreciate the feedback there. But yeah, if you, she's on, and I, I think I posted a video on the main channel too. Um, I think I, I think I'm going to put together a, a water ice uh, to cheesesteak. But she tried her first cheesesteak, um, you know, on my podcast. I, I just think that's super interesting, you know, because it's something we talked about a couple years ago, and she hadn't eaten a cheesesteak in two or three years. So, uh, it was kind of cool that it worked out like that, but I'll be posting a video about that soon. So make sure you, uh, check it out. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I think I'm about to shake and bake soon, but this was a lot of fun. Thanks for, uh, what's the nanny? Thanks for hanging out with me. And thanks for, uh, you know, being patient with this old man as I figured out the, the ins and outs of, trying to stream a video game and i i don't know I, I i feel like youtube i know they got pokemon to come pokemon is that how you say your name to come over um yeah yeah I, yeah that's right there was a short on the main that's right right, right. um i don't know i just feel like there's a huge space with with gaming for youtube that they're they're not just gonna like not try to compete with twitch and uh, you guys know I uh, YouTube's always been my favorite, and I, I, hopefully it helps the hopefully it helps the the other videos. You have a good night too, Marie. Driving drunk, doing my thing. How's that? What are the lyrics there? Let's dip it. Do a bit. So, is there a way to like play? Like, one-on-one? -on -one? Like, if we could play, you know what I mean? Like, is there a way we can connect somehow on the interwaves? I guess what we could always do is, like, you know, you do a time trial and you try to, to beat somebody. But, like, I would just love to be able to invite one of you guys on, play. Like a tournament almost. Like, how cool would that be? All right, Ryan's up. I beat Ryan because I'm not going to lose. All right, Blue's up. I be blue because I'm not going to lose, you know, and just like keep going. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what I heard. Like I heard Twitch is like not Kevin. Sorry, I'm talking to Kevin. I, I read it and I got to say it. Um, I, Twitch streamers are going to be coming here if things keep going the way they are. I hear like Twitch is not, um, the, a lot of people aren't happy with it. Um, all right, Southeast, you take care. Um, they asked me the off question. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, but, uh, um, sorry, I'm just, my, my brain is just, um, but yeah, so Twitch streamers, like, I hear they're not too happy with it, and they get, like, uh, not canceled, but, like, they got videos taken down or they can't monetize or stuff like that. And trust me, that's an issue with YouTube. I, I think that's part of the problem with why this past month has been going so poorly because some of my bigger videos have been getting um, getting demonetized. So, you know, when, when YouTube demonetizes a video, I mean, it not only sucks because you're not making money from it, but it really sucks because... If YouTube isn't making money from it, they're not going to recommend it. Even though it's, you know, there's some of my, like, um, some of my biggest videos have gotten demonetized. 
So now YouTube's not going to put them out. So if YouTube's not putting out some of my best videos, it just crushes my whole channel. And I think that's part of what happened too. But uh, hey, I ain't fucking leaving. I ain't fucking leaving. You think I'm quitting? Draw a circle around through it. Put a line through it. That's a, that's a, I'm forgetting that lyric. Eminem. Oh man, I, I saw a video. I don't know how many people here um, like rap. I know Jasmine doesn't because she's not getting my song lyric. Jasmine, I'm not really driving drunk doing my thing. Do you under, do you see where I'm sitting? Oh, also, nobody's, um, nobody is, you know, recognizing my, my background here. You know, I got this, I got, I got, can I minimize this here? Check this out. Oh boy. Let's edit this here. Um, I'm pretty proud of this. There you go. We'll bring this down. Woo. And we'll bring the chat down just for the, for a quick second. Actually, I'll put the chat right here. That's kind of cool. All right, check this. You guys see my little setup here? I'm like so proud of this. I got uh, Eddie's Main Street. Uh, this was one of the first cheesesteak places I did. Uh, I didn't even like do a full on review. It was just like, I think it's titled uh, Most Inspirational Cheesesteak on my channel. Uh, got this nice little cheesesteak cut out. Got this awesome little piece of art that a friend of mine took a picture of. I absolutely love it. Um, here, I can't bring it close. I'll, I'll get the uh, I'll get the other one. I have a backup. Oh, I don't know where the backup is. Oh, here it is. Tell me this is not an amazing piece of... This is not an amazing picture here, right? So, you got this guy, and he's playing... He's playing a violin, and you don't know if he's playing for a million people or nobody, right? And then he's got... A single dollar. I don't know if you can see. He's got a single dollar in his case. And it's like, he's playing for money, but he only has a dollar. So, it's you don't know if he's playing for a million. You don't know if he's playing for nobody. You don't know if he put the dollar there to entice other people. You don't know if only one person gave a dollar. But the point is, it's like, the most important thing is he's just playing. You know? And it's kind of like playing with like, art and money i heard a great quote one time it was uh when i was when i was uh how'd it go when i was an artist hold on when i had money uh, i'm brewing it something like when i wanted to be in when i when i had money or before i i'm blowing it when I had money, all I thought about was being an artist. Now that I'm an artist, all I'm thinking about is how I make money or something of that line. So anyway, I just feel like this is a really cool thing. And again, as it goes back to even though this month isn't working out and uh, whatever, hey, man, I'm still getting to make content like this. I'm playing Mario Kart. Like, come on, you can't beat that, you know? I'm a blessed individual. All right, so now let me move this back up. I'm getting good at this. I mean, I don't know about good, but getting a little more comfortable with it. Wait, where was I? Was oh yeah, and then I think ooh. This this is what you call learning out loud. All right. I forget where the chat was before, but that'll do. All right. Yo, Ricardo, I've been thinking about you a lot, man. Like, again, I, I don't know. Uh, I, I guess you're, I don't know if you've been um, what watching for a little bit here, but I've been talking about how uh, this hasn't been the best month for YouTube. And I don't know if you caught the little end there, but like, hey, man, regardless, I'm like still having fun doing it, you know? And uh, I've thought about you a lot, Ricardo, because I'm like, man, how cool is it that there was some video that, you know, not that many people watched in the big scheme of things, um, again, because that video also got demonetized, as I was just talking about it. When a video gets demonetized, it kills the video. 
because YouTube has no incentive to put it out because they're not making money from it. Um, so not that many people watch that video, but I'm like, man, there's a guy out there that, you know, took something from it so much so that he wrote about it on a project like that is just so cool to me, you know? Um, you know, that, that puts me in the ranks of like the people you, or it puts that piece of content in the ranks of like the things you read about and learn from, which I just think is so cool. Cause as somebody growing up, my, my parents did not let me watch anything. Like it's not that they didn't let me watch anything, but they were very mindful of like what I was allowed to see or watch or anything like that. And so it, you know, me being my argumentative self, when I did watch something, I would make it a point to find like, what was the value in it? What was the point they were trying to say? Like, let me, let me find a way to prove to you that this is actually a smart movie, even though it's raunchy or, or that there's some sort of like redeemable quality about it. Um, so I really did like learn a lot. Um, kind of like, uh, what's that movie? The cable guy, you know, how he like doesn't have parents and he watches TV. Um, and he just learns everything from TV and he goes batshit crazy, you know, with the, with the with Matthew Broderick and <laughs> the, the girlfriends that come over. I don't want to no spoiler cause it's one of the best, <laughs> it's, it's one of the best twists ever. Um, but if you haven't seen, if you have seen it, you know, you can get a little kooky if you, if you don't understand, you know, what you're watching or if you don't watch the good things. But, um, but the point is it's very cool to hear that, like, I, I've thought about that. It's motivated me a lot. So thanks for sharing that, you know, that, uh, that assignment, um, that you, you use that for your assignment. Hope you're well too, dude. Um, yeah, Jasmine It's from a song called pursuit of happiness. Uh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to bring up the lyrics. I forget what he says after it, but it's one of my favorite songs. People told me slow my roll. I'm screaming out, forget that. I'm going to do just what I want. Looking ahead, no turning back. If I fall, if I die, know I live to the fullest. If I fall, if I die, know I live to miss the bullets. That is one of the best albums ever. Um. Yeah, man, I got a whole channel full of uh, cheesesteak reviews, building it up. Why it go birds, baby? You too, AOJ. Yeah, that's I. I'm with you, Justin. There, where there's a will, there's a way. And man, my I've been willing away since three in the afternoon trying to figure this thing out. But uh, so I, I was just happy to get one person on here, and then uh, yeah, yeah. I, I'm trying to keep it a little PC, PC jabber. Uh, I pinned the cheesesteak channel there, uh, right the, the top comment. If you click that and. Um, I'm doing a podcast, um, you know, the uh, cheesesteaks with Eddie Doyle. But my my M.O. is to go and try these cheesesteaks. And because, you know, I, I feel like more people will be interested in, you know, seeing a cheesesteak review. And then with every cheesesteak review, uh, I'll share who I talked to that recommended that cheesesteak. And if you're interested in that conversation, you check it out. Uh, I have been to L.A. when I was a lot younger. My dad worked out there, and I remember going out there for some work thing he had, and I just remember the traffic being insane. And we did Disneyland, um, but that was like when I was younger. When I was older, when I when I, I was no longer a boy, I was then a, once a, I became a man. We drove from San Francisco down the Pacific Coast Highway, and we flew out of L.A. I didn't actually spend any time in L.A., um, but I was in uh, Venice, which is, I don't think that's technically L.A., right? That's like north of it. And then um, uh, 
not Santa Barbara. I mean, I was there too, but Santa Monica, where there's like a pier, um, which I think is right next to Venice. So, um, yeah, that was uh, that was it. All right, I'm gonna play one more. I'm gonna play one more just because I haven't done um, I haven't done the beach, you know, with a little ramp there. Who should I be? Who should I be? And then I'm done. All right, so yeah, I was uh, I was in L.A. Toad it is. Um, I was just Bowser last time, and I actually lost. Um, I actually lost Wario Stadium, but I let the I let the people give a, a hour or not hour a lap and a half lead. I've actually never been to Houston. I've wanted to go to Houston. Um, and yeah, it's weird because Houston's not... Oh, Ryan's throwing shots. Houston's not super popular, but it's like... I think it's like the fourth or fifth biggest market in in America. Um, but yeah, it's like not known as like... You don't think of it, you know? You think of LA, you think of... New York, Boston, D.C., Chicago, even Philly, and Houston. Uh, I think. Um, oh, who's the who's that YouTuber? Canel Joseph is he in? Is he in Houston? Um, I don't know if he's like that's where he's from, or if he was just like down there for a video or something. I've been watching a couple of his. And you know, Ryan, it's it's I I appreciate the trash talk, but you know when they're the only undefeated team in the NFL, it's hard to say that they actually are trash. Ooh. Oh man, see I'm trying to read, going the wrong way, looking like I'm driving drunk, doing my thing. Oh, it's a wrap. All right, Ryan, you take care, brother. Have a, have a good John. <laughs> Doesn't even make sense. So, I'll be honest, I think uh I think Jacksonville is going to give the birds a run for their money. Obviously, Doug Peterson wants to win, and it's supposed to rain like crazy. And whenever there's weather, that helps the underdog, which the Jaguars are. Um, and yeah, I uh, you know it's just it's it's hard to stay undefeated in the NFL. So I I've honestly feel like all signs are pointing to uh, the Jaguars, and there's. They're six and a half. They're six and a half point dogs, which is a lot of points. So, if I was a betting man, which <laughs> unfortunately, so far, unfortunately, this year I am, uh, I would bet on the Jags. What do you think, Bagel? What's up, big bearded and bored? All right, here we go. Roan from Stool. Oh, he's, um, I actually met him one time. He's like a friend of a friend. Uh, super nice guy. Um, oh, shit. 
Yeah, he does. Uh, oh, he does those like um, like compliment rap battles. I thought that was such a funny concept. But I met him. Uh, it was like either right before or after the election with Donald Trump. Um, uh, something about Donald Trump, like running or he got elected, and he was uh, he was interviewing all these people like in the streets that thought the world was over because Donald Trump was running for president or something, and uh, I just thought he handled that really well. That's I always remember that. That was pretty well done. Man, what a funny time that was. Not trying to get political. It's just, you know, looking back, people people thought Donald Trump getting elected was like <laughs> the worst thing in the world. Fast forward to 2020, we have a global pandemic. <laughs> oh my gosh, I suck. This is, um, this is N64 Mario Kart. Oh, I can take these off. These are, uh, like, Blu-ray glasses. Highly recommend. Um, but I don't need to do it all the time. Uh, yeah, so this is on Open Emu, and, uh... I, I forget, some sort of ROM, uh, Royal ROM or something. Oh, dude, Delco Dan is the man. I, um, I don't know, have you seen, uh, have you seen or listened to Cheese Steak? I, I hate, like, repeating myself, but, dude, screw it. I gotta get this freaking podcast out there. Have you seen Cheese Steak's? Like, my podcast, Cheese Steaks With, um, his episode, Cheese Steaks With Addiction, where he, like, just gets real open and honest about his struggle, I think is, like, uh, that is one of the, you know, I've, I've made a lot of videos, and that's one of the videos where I was, like, I was, like, proud to be a part of, and I didn't even do any work, really, except to ask a couple questions and push record, but, man, Dan just really shared a lot of, like, very interesting and honest and insightful aspects of um, addiction and the opioid e epidemic and um, just like what he went through and um, yeah ha have you seen that Justin if you're still here if not the uh, the pinned comment there is the link to my cheese to my podcast channel um, and then on that channel, if you just look for cheese steaks with addiction, or if you go to Spotify or Apple Music, wherever you listen to podcasts, just type in cheese steaks with addiction or cheese steaks with Eddie Doyle, and uh, the, the, it'll pop up. But that 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 podcast just like it blew me away, and you know it's one of those things where I know there's a lot of people out there that you know could really benefit from listening to it, not just on an element of like oh that's interesting. Um, but I know, you know, I know there's a lot of people that, that struggle with that. Um, you know, not just in this area in the in the whole country, I would assume the whole world, but, uh, but I know we got a problem here in, in America. All right, there we go. That's the one I wanted to play. Oh, wow. I saw some of the... Oh yeah, dude. We were we were talking about um we were talking about how great N sixty four was. And you remember the jump from Sega to Nintendo? Like yeah, or sorry, Sega to N sixty four and PS two, like the difference between those systems when it came out um just changed everything. Favorite Sandler movie? I'm probably going, probably going, oh, 
What a rookie move. I think the most quotable is Billy Madison. And maybe even the most watchable. Like, I just can't turn that off. Actually, no. I think Happy Gilmore is more watchable. Um, But the most... You know, Waterboy's good, too. Waterboy's so sneaky good. Like, when you watch that back, you're just like, whoa. <laughs> What's his name's in it? The Fonz. Oh, you know what's really good? Um, Henry Winkler. Um, Wedding Singer. Wedding Singer's so underrated. Ooh. Julia Gulia. Oh, shit. Um, Click's really good. Click makes me cry. I'm not afraid. I'm not ashamed to say it. Click makes me cry. Um, have you guys ever seen the Meyerowitz stories? I think they're called. That's a like not a typical Sandler role, and it's like Ben Stiller, and there's some other like pretty big name actor in there, and it's it's pretty impressive. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know how to handle this. So, like, from what I understand, a lot of people just, like, play games and, like, they might not talk that much. I just kind of feel weird, like, being with you guys and not talking. So, I don't know if I'm, like, trying to just fill airtime. But, I don't know. Maybe maybe I got to watch a couple streamers and, like, see how they handle it because... Just feel like I should talk because I'm with people, you know? Like, I'm happy you guys are here and I want to tell you guys, like, hey, thanks for hanging out. All right, baby. What's Saul Con? Saul, like the movie? Oh my gosh, how they sneak up on me? It's because I was looking at the do over and I. Have seen that multiple times. I never clicked it. Who's my second favorite YouTuber? Myself. Who's my first? Me. And who's my third? I. Three favorite YouTubers. Me, myself, and I. <laughs> um, that's There's a... Great Eminem line. He's like, I'm listening to my old albums just to keep up with my competition. Um, who are my favorite YouTubers? I don't know. It's kind of like what I'm in the mood for. Um, and I think there's elements of like favorite. Like Ryan Long, I think, is one of the funniest comedians ever. Um, you know, I don't know if I consider him a YouTuber more so than a comedian, but he posts on YouTube. So like, I like his videos. Um, Hey, Sixers not making it out of the second round. Get out of here. Um, this is my first video game stream. Yeah, 51st States is good. Um, I don't know. I think there's something about 51st States where it's just like a little... It's not as funny as his other ones. It's like more... More like... Predictable funny, you know? Like, I always think of the scene where they're... So happy that they met each other and they're dancing and then the car pulls away and they see each other dancing. It's like... I don't know. That's kind of cheap, like, rom-com humor. Um, where I feel like the wedding singer had that same kind of emotion, but it wasn't as cheap. Um, oh, you just played a football game? Did you win? I don't know if I know J J Day Youngin, Jada Youngin. 
My skin is so smooth because this is on the computer and these aren't the best graphics or the best lighting. But if you saw me in real life, you'd be like, oh, he has pimples on his forehead. Oh, his teeth aren't. Dude, I swear, I think there is something on every computer and phone that like automatically whitens your teeth. My teeth are not this white in real life. I, sometimes I think like when people meet, like occasionally people be in the Uber and like, oh, I've seen your YouTube. And I'm like, oh shit, I hope I'm like, you know, not as much of a disconnect from from real life. But like, you know, I'm, I don't use any filters or anything like that. At least like I'm not using now. I, you know, I'm not saying I've never used a filter, but most of the time when I'm recording, it's not a filter. Like this isn't a filter. And, you know, I just have a ring light on and a regular room light. And maybe that's why the skin looks smoother because it's not super well lit and it's not high def. But I, I swear, man, my teeth, I'm like, I see it on video. I'm like, they look great. And then I look in the mirror and I'm like bugging out. I, uh, you know, I, I don't know how teenagers and kids like on the phone, it's got to mess with their mind, especially girls, like all the filters they put on and stuff. They got to like, I don't know, man, I, I just... Mental health for kids, I know it's like a, a thing people talk about, but I'm just happy that I grew up in the time I did because, man. All right, that's uh, it's a little rabbit hole. All right. Eight to seven because of a stupid ref call. See no cheesesteaks? There's a cheesesteak right here. There you go. Yeah. South Jersey and Camden. All right. You know what? I haven't done a... I have not done a cheesesteak in Jersey yet. Any um, any recommendations? Now I don't want to leave. See, now I'm... That, so, I mean, if I just play, I'm just playing, right? There's nothing wrong with that. I might as well do every cup. Or did I do... I don't know if I got a rainbow road in me. I'll do flower cup. Then I'm done. All right. What's up, Big Papa? This is my last one. Then I'm done. Then I got to get... Holy smokes, it's midnight. I got to get to bed. I told myself I'm getting up. I'm going to the Y tomorrow. And I'm practicing my hoops. I got smoked on, uh, I was playing defense the other day against my arch nemesis, and he did this fancy dancy spin move. I know how to defend it now, but now I want to do it to get back at him. I was very embarrassed. He left me standing there with my, with that expression, with, with my jock strap in my hands. Holy smokes. Tua. Oh, speaking of grilled cheese, my, see, this is my, my mind. I don't want to say I have ADD because everyone says they have ADD, but I'm like, you know, a squirrel and uh, that dog and up squirrel. So before I talk about Tua, Ricardo talking about grilled cheese. Have you ever seen the video? I've been meaning to do that. I almost want to make a video of like eating all the recommendations from Uber riders. Um, one of which being grilled cheese with jelly. I remember one of my Uber riders said that. I don't know if you uh, saw that video or not, but grilled cheese with jam. I'm like, that's a pretty interesting concept because one of my favorite snacks, the only downside about this snack is that it's a little tedious to make. But if you get a Ritz cracker and you put cream cheese on it and jelly, oh my gosh, I could eat them for days. Um, so I'm like, you know, grilled cheese with jam might be kind of interesting. As far as Tua... Holy smokes. His career might be done. 
Like that, that, I've never seen. So here's my theory on that. For those who don't know what we're talking about, the Miami Dolphins quarterback a week ago got hit in the game and obviously had a concussion. He was getting up, stumbling around, actually fell back down to the ground, left the game. They said it was a lower back injury is why he fell, and he cleared concussion protocol. Now, at the time, the Dolphins were undefeated, so they really wanted Tua to come back because he's a very good player. I've, who's their backup? Oh, Teddy Bridgewater, which I always thought Bridgewater was pretty good, but I don't know. Maybe he just doesn't fit the system there, or I don't know what's going on with him. I always thought he was a little underrated. But anyway, um, so Tua basically comes back early. The NFL Players Association, which is huge on uh, safety, like launched an investigation because like this isn't right. He obviously had a concussion. You're forcing him to play. Now here's my theory. I was watching videos about this this morning. So when you have a concussion, it's not just like the immediate damage to your head, but you can have delayed motor skills, delayed reaction. Um, uh, delay, um, like body movement, like you don't have as much control over your body for up to like eight weeks or 12 weeks, depending on the severity of the concussion. So it's not just like your head hurts or your brain was injured. Like the rest of your body is affected for even weeks after it happened. And my theory is it's like when you're playing in the NFL, you're competing against the best athletes in the world. And if his body isn't able to react and control himself like he usually is, he's going to get flung around like a rag doll. That was the craziest thing about that. Like before he even got injured, I have, I know two is a smaller guy, but I have never seen a quarterback get flung like that. He literally looked like a rag doll. Like if I was out there playing quarterback and got sacked, I would look like that. Like, he just looked like he had no control over his body at all before he even hit the ground. And because it happened like that, he gets flung into the ground, his head smacks into the turf, and his hands, for those who haven't seen, like, that was some, like, horror movie stuff right there. Like, his hands were, like, all, like, twisted up. Um, and apparently that's a, that's like a neurological reaction when you have a traumatic brain injury, but my theory on it is he was basically flung like that. He was capable of being flung like that because his brain wasn't at a hundred percent. Cause I've no, I, you know, you see people get hit hard, but he wasn't hit necessarily. He was flung, you know, like he, his injury was from being flung. That was insane, man. That was, it it looks like it's in fast motion. Like it's, it's nuts. All right. Let me see. Sorry. Yeah, exactly. When you injure your head and you do the same thing. I was going to say, nobody cares about Tua. They're talking about cream cheese and jelly and cheesesteaks. <laughs> but you're with me, Ricardo. Yeah, right. Your whole nerve is exactly. So um, that's exactly, you know, what I was I was thinking. It's just like, oh, man, that was giving me chills thinking about. Um, but no, I, uh, so I guess the original question was, do I think he'll come back? Like, I think his career might be done. Like, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I'm not a brain. I know nothing about brain stuff. And, uh, you know, I don't know the severity of it. And maybe that's just like a one-off thing where, like, it happens and, um, you know, just randomly your fingers can do that. But I wouldn't be surprised if if you don't come back from it. And, and you got to think if he wants to come back from it. You know? Like, if there's a... 99.5% chance he'll be fine. Does Tua want to take that chance to that that 0.5% chance to like, you know, you you don't even know die, you know, like you don't who knows what could come of it. 
That's why you hear um, who was that quarterback? Andrew Luck. Andrew Luck basically walked away from the game. I don't know if he was in his prime, but he was close to his prime. Um, and it was just like he didn't want to. He don't want to play football anymore. You know. What, is somebody begging for subs? Wait, NASCAR has a driver out? I mean, were they in an accident? But, oh, no, okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, that makes total sense. Like, NASCAR is all about reaction time and, you know, body control too, obviously, the, you know, the momentum of the car. But yeah, that that's a, wow, that's a really interesting point. Um, I, I guess he, he probably didn't get the concussion while driving, but he can't drive due to the concussion, I assume. And that's really interesting. I would have never thought of that. Wow. Yeah, man. It's just wild stuff. Nah, I, I, I had the banana. I was holding on the banana just in case, baby. I wonder if, um, again, this is my, this is my first gaming stream. Is the setup okay? Should I make this a little bigger? See, I would, I would flip the screens here, but then if I'm, actually, if I flip it. Yeah, you know what? I tried flipping it, and here you go. That's a little bigger. Does that work better? I'm, like, trying to make it so I'm here in this little sliver here. And you can still read the chat. If I flipped it, and the game was the main thing, and I'm in the corner. You know what? I think I can crop myself. All right, you think it's good. Sorry. I, I overthink things, you know? In, in search of perfection, I'm always trying to think too much. They feel the hits like, I mean, you don't mean they feel the hits like when they get in accidents. You mean like little dings, I assume? Like what, how, how, how many, um... Like, do, do cars get hit, like, often? I, I, I'm not, I don't know too much about NASCAR. All right, Mike, you take care. Go birds, baby. I'd stay away from the spread this week, though. Just saying. Ooh. Oh, do people usually do the game audio? Gotcha. All right. I'll, I'll switch up, uh. Next time I'll switch it up. I, I, I figured out how to play with the um, the cropping so I can make my ooh oh uh oh I might lose this one. Live from Bedford Stuyvesant, baby. Ooh. All right, don't call to come back. Oh, yeah, that's right. I always forget about two, his brother. Is that his brother or his cousin? I think, is it his brother? Oh, it's a wrap. Later. Oh, where you at? Where you at? There we go. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, 
Oh, appreciate that, big bearded and bored. Um, yes, I have skied, but uh, when I was younger, I am an urchin now. That's another millennial reference. Johnny Tsunami, I snowboard. And by I snowboard, I mean I've gone twice in the past five years. That's cool, man. I hope uh, Uber worked well for you. Interesting. I've only had half a beer. That That's the most misleading thing about the title. For everyone saying it's clickbait, it's like, of course I'm not driving drunk. But I'm not even drunk. Not even a little buzzed. Which is probably for the best. Because like I said, got to get up early and hit the gym tomorrow. Which I can't believe I'm still up past midnight. All right, this is my last race. Then I'm done. My favorite beer, I'm from Delco, baby. There's only one beer that exists in my mind. And that is the fine brew known as Budlichte. Or what you may know as Bud Light. I'm always such a jackass when I'm at a bar or a restaurant. And I'm like, oh, can, you, can I get your beer? I'll have... Your finest Bud Light, please. <laughs> they always look at me like, is this guy serious? Serious is a heart attack, baby. Oh, I missed the box. Oh. Oh, shh. Ah. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I forgot how much I like playing this game. Oh, no. Boom, let's go. All right. Favorite Eagles player? Um, probably Reggie White. He's the man. Favorite current Eagles player? Um, I don't know. That's a good question. I don't really know. I'll think of that when I watch the game on Sunday. That was it, right? Yeah. All right, guys. This was a lot of fun. I stayed a lot longer than I thought I would because I was enjoying it. I hope uh, you guys liked it too. And hey, here's to October, baby. Took a big L in September. My plan did not work. But hey, that's what happens. You win some, you lose some. Uh, what time? What time you guys want to see the video tomorrow? It's it's a it's like a nighttime video, so maybe a little more in the afternoon. But it is Saturday, so I don't know. Sometimes I feel like a video in the morning might be good. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But stay tuned tomorrow. Be a good video. Happy Saturday now. And uh, it's October, baby. Nothing but up from here. You guys have a good one. Thanks so much for coming out. And Blue, thanks for moderating. And thanks for everyone who uh, threw in the super chat. All right. I need to figure out how to end this. God, I'm such a...